this week I'm doing something a little bit different. I am going to be taste testing a coffee that I have been dying to try. I've always been very drawn to their packaging and I clicked on their website once and ever since then I get bombarded by advertisements on YouTube and Instagram on a regular basis. It's been constant from the moment I went to their website. So that coffee company is Bones Coffee Company. I love their packaging and their flavor combinations that they have just sound incredible. They have some very unique ones that I never would have thought to put with coffee. What's it called? I think Electric Unicorn. It's like a Fruity Pebbles, basically, coffee. I've been wanting to try them forever. There's many more that I want to try, but I did go ahead and pick myself up a sample pack. In their sample packs, you can pick five of their flavors, and they will send you a sample pack that looks like this of those five flavors that you chose. They had one in particular for Valentine's Day that I was dying to try, so I finally just took the leap and purchased a sample pack. What I bought this time was the Red Velvet. This is their one for Valentine's Day that I really, really want to try. I love Red Velvet cake, so I was like, oh, Red Velvet coffee? Sign me up, two of my favorite things. The Cinnabon. I love cinnamon bun coffee. If you haven't had it, you should try it. This one in particular I was really excited to try because I wanted to see if it held up to the Cinnabon coffee. So we'll see. The Salted Caramel. You see what I mean with their packaging? It's adorable. I love it. What else here? Wonder Bones. This is probably the like weirdest one I got. This is a salted pretzel flavor coffee. I'm super curious about this one, so we shall see what we get when we get to this one. But lastly, I got the Cookies and Dreams, which is basically like an Oreo type coffee. As I said, I've been following them for a long time. Every time I go on YouTube to watch a video, it is the first advertisement that pops up on YouTube videos, so they've been taunting me forever, and so I finally broke down and bought my sample pack. So what I'm going to be doing over the next five days is trying each of the coffees and then reporting back to you what I think, what I feel, which one's my favorite, which ones definitely should never get if there is any. That is the plan for this video. Like I said, a little bit different, but I've been wanting to try this coffee forever. So I thought what better reason to try it than to give it a tester for a few days and let you guys know if they're actually worth purchasing. One that I have brewed today, it is day one, is the Cinnabon. Um, as I said, at my old job, somebody had brought in Cinnabon coffee cups for the Keurig, and I had tried them. They were delicious. So I went ahead and purchased the Cinnabon from Bones Coffee to see if it was any good. So that is what I'm trying today. Let's give it a go. Very good. This tastes almost exactly like the Cinnabon one from the company Cinnabon. Yeah, this is delicious. I am not somebody who uses sugar in my coffee. I don't like it. I just use oat milk basically every morning. This is absolutely delicious. I would definitely recommend this one. I am loving this. Like I could drink this all the time. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Cinnamon buns are absolutely delicious. They're horrendous for you, but they're amazing. So far, we're off to a good start. This is a very good coffee. So for those who don't know me, I am a massive coffee addict. I am the person who could drink coffee from morning till night right before I go to bed and be fine. It's kind of an issue. <laughs> I love coffee. So yeah, the fact that there is a coffee brand out there whose aesthetic is very much me and they have really, really funky flavors is really, really cool. So I had to go ahead and purchase them finally. So we're off to a good start. I will see you tomorrow morning when I bust open a new pack and try that flavor and I will let you know how it tastes tomorrow. <laughs> We are back.
back with day two of the coffee trials from Moan's Coffee. So today I made the cookies and dreams. This smells amazing, I will tell you that right now. It smells like just a bunch of Oreos. It smells amazing. Not bad. By the smell of it, it smells like it would taste very, very strongly of cookies, but it doesn't. It's very subtle, but it tastes really good. Yeah, I like it. I like how subtle it is. I'm not somebody who likes chocolate in their coffee. I'm not a mocha fan, nothing like that. So this idea intrigued me because the fact that I love, you know, Oreo cookies. I mean, who doesn't? Oreos are delicious. I was nervous about the aspect of having it be very chocolatey and me not liking chocolate in my coffee, but this is really good. I could definitely buy this one again. I could drink this on a regular basis. This is not bad at all. <sighs> I love coffee. Not bad for day two. So, so far we're two for two. I enjoyed both coffees and I'm looking forward to day three. I will admit, I am very, very curious about the Wonder Bones, the salty pretzel. It's the weirdest of all the flavors that I bought, so I kind of want to try it. So I feel like maybe tomorrow I'll finally give in and try the salted pretzel coffee, so we'll see. <laughs> I don't know what intrigues me about it. Like, I just wanted to try it. I love pretzels, especially hot pretzels. So the idea of a salted pretzel coffee just, I had to try it. I couldn't leave that one alone. <laughs> we shall see what we get. It'll either be really good or it'll be really bad. We'll see. <laughs> Cookies and Dreams, highly recommend. Very good, very subtle. I like it a lot. I could definitely buy a gigantic bag of this as well. If these are all really, really good, I'm gonna wanna buy a big bag of all of them and just rotate them on a regular basis. And I don't really need to spend like $50 on coffee. Send help. Wonder Bones. So this is the salted pretzel flavor that I was super, super curious about. Now the idea of a salted pretzel coffee might sound a little gross to some people, and it kind of sounds a little bit gross to me too, but not enough to not pique my curiosity. So I will say it smells amazing. Like the combination of like Literally, salted pretzel and coffee it smells good together, so you will see if it actually tastes good together. I'm kind of nervous about this one, but it was the craziest one that I bought, and I figure now that we're three days in, I should probably give this one a go. Yeah, and this time I've just added some plain oat milk in it. surprisingly good not bad at all oh my god I'm so shocked that it doesn't taste like weird like it's got like this undertone of almost like I don't know how to describe it the undertone is definitely there of like when you have like the piece of like a soft warm pretzel and you put it in your mouth and just kind of get that like flavor in there it has like that undertone but it's not like something overpowering weird where you think it would be with coffee I am surprised like genuinely shocked I really thought, I really thought if any of them were going to be kind of gross, it would be this one, but oh my god, it's not. It really works. So, the verdict is Wonder Bones. Actually very good. Salted pretzel works very, very, very good in coffee. Who would have thought? I like it. And I definitely recommend this one. I don't know how it would be with any kind of sweetener, but lots of cream. It works really, really well. Like I said, I just put a bunch of oat milk in it and the flavor is really good. So we are actually three for three now. Not bad. All three have been good and totally worth spending the money for. So I'm really, really happy about it. Oh.
Hello again, everybody. It is day four of our coffee taste testing with Bones Coffee Company. So this morning I made the salted caramel. I am a caramel fanatic. It's my favorite go-to flavor in coffee. So I have a feeling I'll like this one. But let's give it a try, shall we? It's pretty good. It's definitely more subtle than all of the other flavors, I think. Um, it's, but it's there. It's definitely there after you swallow it, like it leaves it on your tongue. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not nearly as strong as the other flavors in the coffee. Um, they're all pretty subtle, but this one in particular, I feel like you don't really get the caramel until after you swallow the coffee. But I do like it. Again, I could definitely drink this one on a regular basis. I never have a problem with caramel. That one's definitely a contender to drink on a daily basis. I could drink that one a lot. But we are definitely four for four right now. Tomorrow is day five, the last day, and that is reserved for the red velvet. I've been very, very, very excited about trying that one. I love red velvet. So the fact that they made a red velvet coffee, I'm here for it. <laughs> These guys woke me up at 7.30. I didn't go to bed till after 3.30. It was a rough morning. But we're on day five of trying some flavors from Bones Coffee. Today, I saved this limited edition for last. It is the Red Velvet Coffee from Bones Coffee. This is their like limited edition for Valentine's Day. I love Red Velvet. It's my favorite of like anything chocolatey. It's always red velvet. So I'm pretty excited about this one. And that was my final push to give this a try because I really wanted to try the red velvet. I love it. Again, like everything else I've tried this week, it's very subtle undertones. So it just like kind of hits you at the end. But it's really, really good. Really smooth, really creamy with the oat milk in there. It tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. I kind of want to order a big bag. And they did send me another coupon, so <laughs> that might happen. So I'm going to take my time to wake up here for a little bit. And then a little bit later, we'll kind of go more in depth. And I will talk about them all as a whole and what other flavors I want to try. All right, so let's wrap this up. All in all, I was really, really impressed with Bones Coffee. Every flavor was really good, especially surprised by the Wonder Bones. I was super, super nervous about that one, if I'm honest. I mean, let's face it, I love salted pretzels and I love coffee, but the two together, the idea just really freaked me out, but I bought it anyway. I kind of want to buy a big bag of the Red Velvet just because it's a limited edition, it's going away soon. So I might do that. I also really wanna order a second sample pack. They have several other flavors that I was dying to try. So I really wanna get another sample pack and see how those taste as well, especially based on how delicious all of these were. Let's go through some of the flavors I'm dying to try, shall we? And most of these were all contenders for the current Pack that I have with me. So let's see here. So I really want to try the Mint Invaders, which is a mint chocolate chip ice cream coffee. I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. I love coffee, as you currently know. So that one I really, really want to try. I want to try the Highland Grog. That one is a butterscotch and caramel flavored coffee. Butterscotch and caramel are both delicious so that one I really want to try electric unicorn that is one that I really almost bought in this current pack that I have it is a fruity cereal coffee it basically sounds like it's a fruity pebbles flavored coffee so I personally really want to try that one 
Again, it kind of sounds like a weird combination, but so did salted pretzel, and that was really, really good. So I think I'm going to order that. French toast, which is a French toast flavor coffee. I mean, I drink coffee with breakfast, so why wouldn't I want a breakfast flavor coffee? What else? Jamaican Me Crazy. This one, I believe, might be decaf, which I don't fully understand the point of decaf coffee like at all like there's no purpose to it what is I don't I don't understand explain it to me I'm confused anyways the Jamaican Me Crazy which is a vanilla caramel coffee uh, at work they would buy flavored coffees that we would do in the morning so you'd have like plain coffee and then a flavored coffee and they would get this one called Jamaican Me Crazy and it smelled my mom says she thinks it was coconut flavored I don't know. It didn't taste coconut to me. I don't like coconut flavored anything really. But the Jamaican Me Crazy was my favorite coffee. I loved that coffee. I really want to order their Jamaican Me Crazy and see if it's the same flavoring as the one that they used to get at my work. They have a lot of flavors. They have a medium roast, they have a dark roast, they have single origin, they have a Sumatra single origin, they have a Costa Rica single origin, espresso, Guatemala single origin, Kenya and Colombia single origin. So they have some regular coffees as well. Kind of cover all their bases. Anything coffee wise that you could want, they sell it. They have crazy flavors, they have um, classic flavors. For me this was definitely a win in the purchase department. As I said, I had been wanting to try them for a long time. Their packaging, I am a sucker for packaging. And all of their labels have some kind of attitude and aesthetic to them. I really love them. They really put a lot of thought and time behind them. They're super cute. As I said, I was being taunted online by them for quite a while with the advertisements. And I'm pretty excited that I got some. I definitely want to put another order in for a second sample pack of the other flavors. I feel like maybe I should get a second sample pack before I order a big bag of anything. I will say my favorite was probably the Cinnabon. That one was really good. The flavor of cinnamon bun in coffee for some reason just works super, super well. So that one was probably my favorite. I also really loved the Cookies and Dreams. Those two are very high up on my list for contenders of repurchasing in a big bag. But as I said, I really want to do that second sample pack before I order a big bag of anything. Overall, I'd say five out of five recommendation on all of those. I would definitely check them out. The sample pack is a really awesome way to try them out for the first time. Overall, I would highly recommend them. I might do a second video if I order a second sample pack just to give you an update on those flavors and see how I'm feeling about those ones. As somebody who generally sticks to her Dunkin Donuts every day, I thought it'd be fun to kind of get out of my comfort zone and get some funky flavored coffees and I'm pretty happy that I did. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, have a good one, bye!